Good morning, family. Welcome to today's Lessons for Life. Today is Monday, October the 26th, 2009, and today we're reading 2 Chronicles chapter 25, and this chapter has quite a few in there, and there's an important lesson that we can get from this, um, and I'm going to share with you in a few, but <clears throat> as always, I do encourage you to read these chapters through for yourself, see what you get from it, email us, and we'll put it on the blog. But there's a king by the name of Amaziah, and the first, first portion is where I'm going to take Lessons for Life from, because we see some things that he does that are good, and patterns that we could follow um, because what he's doing, he's going to battle and he uh, pays some men from the uh, children of Israel to help him come to battle and the man of God comes to him and <coughs> speaks to him from really from the Lord, the word comes to him and basically <coughs> he tells him, you know you make an allegiance with these people but you shouldn't because they're not doing right just like we've been talking about recently uh, about you know who you partner up with and he says something that's powerful that um, God has power to help. And this is things we've been talking about for a little while too, about being in partnership with God. But he tells him, God has the power to help. So God is there. He's available to help. But if you don't, if you don't recognize that, if you don't allow God to help, then you are on your own. So the lesson that we can get from this, and, and he actually, um, from how I read it, he did pretty good because he obeyed him at that time, and he, um, you know, he sent the man back. But that part where it says God has power to help, it just shows us, and the lesson we can pull from this is that God is there waiting to help us, but we need to allow God to help us. We need to allow Him open our, you know, open up for God to come and help us, because it's actually God wants to help us. Is God God wants to help us, but we, because of either disobedience or ignorance, won't allow Him to help us. And like I said, even through disobedience, we then have to go through the suffering and through the punishment of the disobedience. But it's God's nature; He wants to help us. That's why we have the Holy Spirit, and, and uh, He sent the Holy Spirit as a, as a helper. So we're supposed to be getting help from the Lord. We're not supposed to be facing life all by ourselves, going through challenges, trials, tribulations, or whatever, all by ourselves, not even just facing life, period, by ourselves. God is there waiting for us to allow him to help us, as the king sees here. God has power to help. And then the king also even mentions, which is another little lesson, or not little, but another lesson we can get really quickly, because then, you know, remember the king had paid these men from Israel <coughs> um, to... to go to battle for him, and he just brings up after that, well, you know, what about this money that we paid for um, these people to help? For these, for these people, <laughs> that's right, for the, for the people, the, the, the Israelites or the children of Israel, um, to, to, to help them as opposed to God helping them. But what about this money? And then the <clears throat> word comes to him now that, you know, God can supply so much more than that little bit that you might lose. So even though you might lose for that little time, you can make it back up and that much more by sticking with God and allowing God to help and working with, you know, having that relationship with the Lord. So <clears throat> don't worry about that little bit that you have uh, lost because God can supply you. He, he's the source, so he can supply you so much more. So there's a lot of stuff in this chapter, and uh, I thought it was very, very um, encouraging, powerful lesson just about God wanting to help us. God is there. He has the power to help, but it's for us to allow him to, to open up, to let him help us with whatever it is we need help with. So with that, create yourself a wonderfully blessed day today, and we'll talk again tomorrow.